is important they develop and they can only really develop if the more game time they have. Marcus Pass was uh, seen by Kier, the uh, new centre-half. Barry is across to uh, cut him off. Incidentally, England's captain for the second half is Ashley Cole. Here is Crondelli. Actually, is just ahead of uh, Vass. So Vass. This is Christ. Vass. as accomplished as uh, Jack Wilshire did for England. From Delhi, Ericsson, who turns 19 on Valentine's Day. It's Monday, don't forget. Body strength to resist Romadal and just nod it back to the goalkeeper. Bench won his head up. Young. A minute bent and smothered well by Sorensen. Who just threw his frame at Bent and Bob. Nicholas Bentner shouldn't be a problem for John Terenko. This is that cross from James Milner. It's a really smart little header as well. Milner. Cole kept going. Paulson tracked his run. The weekend you've got Kyle Walker who's on the bench, Phil Neville, Danny Simpson, Martin Kelly played right back for Liverpool while Johnson was on the left, Neda Manuaha, Andy Wilkinson. It's the half dozen English right backs in the Premier League the weekend just gone. Milner having a really good game now away from Vass and running into Kier who has to yield him a corner. You know, now a pillar is already up and running with a couple. Looks a lot happier, I think. He he's got his cover. Yeah. The race is run. Wayne Rooney can uh, turn his attention to the Manchester derby. That's a smashing pass. Walcott. Teasing Silver Bauer. And delivering and uh, discomforting Sorensen. By Cahill. Awkward for Parker. He's landed for Christ. as though it's got a proper competitive edge about it. Feels as though it does have a purpose. It's not lacking in entertainment either. Cole. There it is, we're about to see Stuart Downing. I think in place of Theo Walcott. Young. Has gone for goal ambitiously. The starting centre forward for Denmark during uh, the period of Nicholas Bentner's unavailability. Vass. Fist. Vass. Just. Denmark, they've got to try and get Romadal and Cohen here a little bit more. The fullbacks will be pushing forward. It's set up beautifully for England now to counter again with the pace that they have out there. And Milner's strong running down. It's very quick. Ashley Young, as we've seen with his goal, when he gets motor in, he's very difficult to stop. And Darren Bent, of course, England. Win in their pocket. Parker. On by Young. Milner. Again, Cole bombing beyond him. And uh, Milner frustrating him with uh, an overhead pass. Thanks very much. 30, the first leg of the Europa League tie between uh, Arisalonica and Manchester City. That's on Tuesday, then on Wednesday, a real standout fixture. Arsenal against Barcelona as the Champions League resumes. ITV4 from 7 o'clock, ITV1 H. Anything sloppy away, don't invite any trouble. That's all you can do. I've got to look like an international yeah, player. You've got to try and right. be something you're not. Exactly right, Peter. Exactly right. If you go on as a centre half, just do your job. Defend your goals. Make sure that you don't give anything sloppy away. Don't invite any trouble. That's all you can do. Milner trying to take it with him. Vass. Oh, 
Wanderer has only reached Parker. Cole. By Christian Paulson. This is Silver Bauer. Bentner quite deep now. See far less of them as an attacking force since half time. Slipped in by Vass. Here goes Romadal. Really good covering from Parker. Excellent work. He might have just twisted it. Tease Paulson and uh, hung it up Stuart Downing. But uh, beyond Darren Bent. It's away by Vass for Romadal. Certainly what you get with Gareth Barry and Scott Parker is two central midfield. The way you make these games, these friendly matches, mean something, have some real effect is by when players perform and play really well, then they should be given an opportunity to do it in the big matches when they come around. It's the only way you can actually make people want to keep turning up, keep giving their all in this sort of environment, this sort of night. You know, it's been a good game, I've enjoyed it. I think there's, they've got something out of it, which is important, because there's been lots of friendly matches that recent... given way to Anna Voltsen for the Danes. Cause for English optimism, certainly. Smiles told that story. Wales well beaten last night. They're the major medium-term target. Norway... ...headed by Ericsson. Again from uh, very deep with Vass. So I'm so aiming at uh, Ed of Olsen. Martin Baines getting his job done. Yeah. Denmark still do have a change. short of support. As uh, Adrian mentioned at half-time, for those England fans, the luxury of being able to have a drink behind the goal. Ninetieth minute. Maybe a little bit added on for uh, all of the changes. who gave Denmark a lead a long, long time ago. A lead that was uh, short-lived and has since been deleted. Away. Milner's got tangled up, the referee's allowed to let it go. And uh, Bent is forward alongside Milner, who can just run for the hills here. That'll do. And he'll draw the foul, take the free kick, and uh, England will win the game. Yeah. Excellent run from James Milner. I've got a feeling the referee showed a card there as well. So he should, because he's just been cleaned out there by Vass. First and presumably only one of the game. Yes. 